What is going on guys, this is SJ Sports and welcome back to Youth Academy Regions episode number 25 now. The first game of this episode sees us take on Derby away in the Capital One Cup. If you have missed any of the other episodes, God that was a bit hard to say. But yeah, if you have missed any of the other episodes then there will be a link in the description below where you can go check it out. So a complete and utter revamp then of the squad. There's not many first team players that play in the league. Uh, we've gone Christiansen, Cornelius, Bagger at centre-back. Some of you guys wanted me to try him at centre-back, so I thought, what a great way to try him in the Capital One Cup, which doesn't really mean much. It won't damage our league performance or position. We've gone with Baggy, Taylor, Diallo, Hughes, Lowe, Song, Dunk and Diamande up front. In the of the park, Here's Law looking for the run of Song. He finds him. Song. Song. Oh, he's done well. Song. Oh, Song. Oh, good save from Grant. Song. Wow. This is your chance to get noticed if you want to feature in the first team. Hughes. Hughes. Lucky for the run of Song. Yes. Ball. Song. Song. Oh, he tried the chip. Grant stood firm. Didn't commit himself. So it's a corner to Derby. Bryson will take it to the near post. Head it out. Oh, and they've scored. It's Thorne that got on the half clearance header from Cambridge and oh, we, we've been the better side, we've dominated them, that's their first effort on goal and they've scored it. It was a good header away and it was Diallo, no it was, it was Baggy on the line that couldn't do anything about it and Derby take the lead. Song, go on Song, Song, lays it off, Hughes, ooh, it's not a bad effort. It was a, about 30 yards out, and it didn't go far over the bar. It was a great strike. Look how it's moving in the air. Just couldn't quite keep it down, and it remains 1-0 to Derby. Dunk. Ball. Here's Song. Great take. Why is he running sideways? Song. Lay it off. Yes. Finish. Oh, it's a chance. It's a chance. The Amande snatched at that chance just before half time, and he blazes it over the bar. It's still 1-0 to Derby. Song. Yes, great ball. Diamande. You're running into trouble. Oh, Diamande. Diamande. Yes. Oh, that's a chance. Then he should have buried it. Oh, dear. Here's Law. Looks for Cornelius. Cornelius, here's Keelover. Oh, it's a nice pass. Song. Oh, grand denies us again. Oh, great football again from Cambridge United. They're playing some lovely stuff this season, but there's not that end product that we need. Looking for Martin. Martin's bulging his way through. Oh, there's three of you there. Shots. Good save, Christiansen. Get the second pieces. Well done. Song. Keelover. Back heels it. It's Hughes. Oh, and it's Grant that saves again. Oh, my God. We just do not deserve this. We've just not taken our chances. Oh, hang on, with maybe still one last attack. Referee's playing an ad us an advantage. Diallo, good ball through. Taylor, and that's the chance, gone. Shouldn't really be shooting from that angle with such a shit player. And that is possibly that. There it is, there is confirmation. Cambridge United have gone out of the Capital One Cup, but they've done themselves some justice. They've been superb. There was completely the better side, but we just didn't have the end product. And we just didn't find a way through the Derby goalkeeper. It's finished Derby 1, Cambridge 0. Transfer deadline day then will be no newcomers into the side. There may be a few players going out though. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Transfer offer for Casper Cornelius from Barcelona and it's for 700k. We're going to reject that offer. Five hours remaining in the transfer window. We've received a transfer offer for Liam Hughes. It's for 300k. We're going to negotiate at 400, see what they come back and say. Blackpool have reviewed the asking price for Liam Hughes. They say that 400k is not enough, but they've come back with a sum of 375, which we are definitely going to accept. Three hours left of transfer deadline day, and the board have allocated us £325,000 from our sale of Liam Hughes to Blackpool. Transfer deadline day has now ended. We have some training injury news. Initial assessment from our medical department is that he will be out for three weeks. That is a big blow. That is a big blow. Kasper Golenkas has been fantastic so far this season with Barcelona coming in for him as well. So this guy has got a bright, bright future ahead of him. So start of a new month then and we're going to give you guys a squad report. 
Kim Christiansen, 60, not gone up by any just yet. Kasper Golenkas, 64, gone up by two. Anders Bagger, 64, gone up by two. Christian Baggy, 66, gone up by one. Greg Taylor, 62, gone up by one. Smits, 69, gone up by one. Diallo, 62. Russell Lowe, 62. Song, 65. Harrison Dunk, 63. Diamande, 69. Henrik Christensen, 62. Lauritsen, 62. Yaya Bamba, 67. Keelover, 68, gone up by one. Nagy Ismail, 61. Retamoso, 62, gone up by one. Kyle Milgrew, 64. Lewis Lee, 69, gone up by one. Liam Hurst, 53. Will Norris, 55, gone up by one. And Anthony Hope, out on loan, is a 60 now, gone up by two. Next game of the episode sees Walsall take on Cambridge United back in league action. Starting lineup then for Cambridge. Bagger has moved to left back. Christiansen, Bamba, Milgrew, Smith, Retamoso. Song plays on the right hand side of midfield now, where Nagy Ismail has played that position before, but he's out on international duty. Lee's back in the side. Lauridson is also back in the side. And the main man, Keelover, is up front. Here's Clifford. Here's Mantum. Oh, Walsall are building a fantastic attack here. Shots away and it, oh, it just goes wide. Walsall have been fantastic these opening seven minutes of the game. Created the first chance of the match and he just drags his shot just past the post. Bradshaw. Here's Bradshaw. Oh, Bamba, you've sold yourself. Oh, to hell, it's another let off. We are being very, very, very sloppy in this opening game and we deserve to be a goal behind. Clifford into Cook, onside, Cook weaves his way through, shoots and it goes over the bar, plays it to Mantum, Mantum gets the ball back from his player, oh, oh. what a finish again, Cook, no, no, oh that's awful, why is our defending been shocking this game? Bamba has been horrendous and it's 2-0 to Walsall with just over half an hour to play. What is Bamba doing there? Great cool calm finish into the back of the net. It's Walsall 2, Cambridge United 0. Christensen, that should be your Oh, it's Mike there. Yeah, yeah. When things don't go for you, things go definitely against you. Christiansen is to blame for this goal. Why did he not just catch it? It's Walsall 3, Cambridge United 0. And this could get embarrassing. Home team here. Here's Fonagan. Through. Big space. Oh, wow. Oh, which is just... Yeah, whatever, man. You're 3-0 up and you go and do that against me? Yeah, OK. Set of cunts. Well, that is the end of the game. And that is the end of Cambridge unbeaten running the league so far. Now, a lot of you have been shouting at me saying, put Keelover in the number nine shirt. Every time I record, I'm about to record one of these, the first thing I say to myself is, remember to put Keelover as number nine. I've been trying to do this since the start of the season. I've just remembered now because I've just seen a comment that come through on the email saying, why haven't you not give Keelover the number nine shirt? So that is what we are going to do. So, Keelover, you are our new number nine. Welcome to the number nine club. Next game of this episode and final game of this episode sees Cambridge United take on Crawley Town. Smiths lays it off. Here's Lee. Oh, Lee. Where does that come from, pal? What a strike from Lee. Unbelievable stuff. I just I couldn't even believe it. it took me by surprise. He's in off the bar. Rosenberg who, Curtis? Rosenberg who? Yes. Yes, Keelover. Yes, here's Lee. Lee's through again to double our lead. Lee, yes, it's 2-0. And Cambridge are running riot. And so is Lee. Get in, boys. Fantastic play from the lads. Yes, Nagy, well in, son. Here he is. Nagy Ismail looking to cross. Here is Diambe. Oh, Dimande. Puts he just wide of the post from the header. It was a quite a powerful header for him to say how far out he was. And it took the paint off the woodwork there. It still remains 2-0 to Cambridge. 
Just gets past his man brilliantly well. Diamande, still Diamande, he's got a Cambridge man with him, he finds him, it's Song, it's 3-0, and Cambridge are running riot. It's Song on as a substitute, Diamande on as a substitute, linking up quite well, very well indeed. It was a bit of poor ball, slightly behind Song, he still had a lot of work to do, and he finesses it just inside the post, 3-0. Well in Song, being two perfect, he's just come on, he chips it in, Diamande taking it brilliantly well, crosses, it should be four, it is, it's low, it's 4-0 to Cambridge, and Crawley have fallen apart, there is the full time whistle, we've gone and lost at 4-0 to Walsall, but we've beaten Crawley Town 4-0, it's been a fantastic performance from the lads, I did give them a bollocking after that Walsall performance, and they have given me everything to be happy about it's finished cambridge for crawley town nil so then this episode is coming to an end boys hope you have enjoyed it if you have then make sure you go give this video a like see if we can get 50 likes again it's been a consistency 50 likes series as this your support has been magnificent you guys can't get enough of this series we sit in seventh place we have played seven we've won three we've drawn three we have lost one we've scored 11 we've conceded eight and our goal difference is three and we sit on 12 points so we're kind of joint fifth kind of joint fifth if we go on the points tally i've been sgh sports please like and i will see you guys next time